A live look now from our exclusive Hyatt Place Uptown camera. Clear skies, sunshine, cool, uh, I was about to say cooler temps, warmer temps, the exact <laughs> opposite of what I was about to say. However, Tara, it was cool this morning. It was a very cold morning heading into this beautiful day. It was really cold. I mean, we had some spots down around, what, 25 degrees, yeah. some frost that we had to scrape off the windshields if you were up and at it early. But, but yeah, what a nice little warm up here this afternoon with the sunshine, and that is just a sign of even warmer temperatures to come as we head through this week. We made it up to 64 for that high today. Just a few scattered clouds around with that warm flow now in place. So that's the difference. We had that wind generally out of the north, that cooler direction over the weekend. And now that we're in that southwest wind, light five miles an hour, that's going to work with the sunshine, which we'll see plenty of this week to give us that nice boost in temperatures. Compared to this time yesterday, we're running about 5 to 15 degrees warmer. Most of us sitting in the 60s outside of the mountains, not far from 70 there in Morganton and up through Lenore. We've got 63 in Rock Hill, 66. Also one of the warm spots in Gastonia and a string of low 60s there along Highway 74, mid 50s up in the mountains of Boone and Jefferson. And it's been dry out there too. I mean, not when it comes to just no rain, but just how dry the air feels. Look at these below zero dew point readings. And so, yes, maybe your, your lips are a little extra chapped and even if you're not licking them constantly, and of course the mask doesn't really help with that situation, but that's why, because we've had those low dew point numbers up there, which will start to climb as we head through the week. So out and about this evening, staying dry by midnight, temperatures are down into the mid forties, another chilly night ahead. It's a dry scan on Fox 46 radar. I planted the temperature colors on here because you can see how a lot of the country is generally in the warm zone with this big upper level ridge of high pressure in charge and that will keep us dry and again keep us on the warm side all throughout the week. So tomorrow we go from 30s and 40s in the morning back into the even low 70s in the afternoon. So again the warm up continues. Lots of sunshine. We will start to see some high fin cirrus clouds moving through. You can see those showing up on future satellite as we go through the afternoon but no green showing up. No rain coming out of any clouds anytime soon. And so I know I heard a lot of lawnmowers cranking out there in the yards this weekend. And if you have to do that all throughout this week, you've got the green light with, again, no rain in the forecast. So temperatures, instead of kind of going downhill like we have been the past few days and over the weekend, it was nice, but it was a little chilly out there. Sundays and even Saturdays highs only in the mid to upper 50s. Instead, we go up the roller coaster hill where look at Friday, I'm forecasting 79 degrees. So some of us will very well touch 80 to finish out the week. And eventually we get more daylight as well. Don't forget this weekend, not until Saturday night, early Sunday morning, we turn those clocks. And so we'll be looking ahead to our new sunrise time Sunday morning at 735 and new sunset time starting Sunday evening at 730. All right, so temperatures waking up in the morning. Another chilly start will drop into the upper 20s and places like Morganton and Lenore generally around the low to mid 30s everywhere else. But nice recovery the next several afternoons. Early morning temps climb as well. There's that again very close to 80 for Friday. We're still dry. The next chance of rain may arrive late in the weekend early next week with another front that could put us back on the cooler side going into next week page.